Welcome back, folks. A beautiful view from our tower cam here just off Riverwatch Parkway. We do have blue skies overhead and had a little bit of smoke around. There was a control burn on Fort Eisenhower earlier this afternoon. That south wind did bring a little smoke here across Augusta and up towards the lake, but a nice afternoon for most spots. Temperatures still close to 80 degrees. We are looking to stay dry this evening and tonight. High pressure sitting just off the coastline, so that's bringing us a good south southeast wind. Now, what's going to be heading our way Tuesday is this uh, just what's left of a surface trough just kind of swinging us some moisture showing up most likely after lunchtime tomorrow. So we will see mostly clear skies for the next few hours, but as we get towards daybreak Tuesday, we'll see that cloud cover build and then give way to at least some widely scattered showers and possibly even some thunderstorms not rolling out. We do hear some rumble to thunder out there tomorrow, not expecting a huge severe weather threat, but just can't rule out maybe a stronger wind gust or two with some of those cells as they do bubble up tomorrow afternoon. Once we get to around midnight tomorrow, I'd imagine we're done with that rain risk. It starts to push off towards the coast and then heading into wind Wednesday, mostly dry. There is going to be another trough swinging through closer towards the coast, so that may bring a stray shower chance closer to I-95, but not really expect to be a huge threat uh, for us here in town. Thursday is going to be the hottest day of the week. That's when we'll likely see high temperatures get close to 90 degrees later into the afternoon, but right now still trending in the dry direction uh, Wednesday and Thursday. It's really Tuesday, mainly after the lunch hour to when our rain chances really do start to go up. So there's that early afternoon wave, and then right around Sunday, Sunset through around midnight tomorrow, we'll have that opportunity. So just make sure you are staying weather aware. Have that first alert weather app close by just in case there is a stronger storm or two out there for tomorrow. Our temperatures do just gradually warm up a tick or two for our Wednesday morning. Temps will be closer to 60 and then afternoon highs most likely near 85 Wednesday and just hanging on to a mixture of sun and clouds throughout the day. Thursday will be a little bit warmer right now going just shy of 90, but could possibly see that warm up a degree or two the next few days. And then as we head into the weekend, temperatures drop a few degrees, but that's going to be when another cold front arrives and will bring us another opportunity for storms Saturday and Sunday. But it's really just for tomorrow. I wouldn't necessarily give the best car wash forecast for you. Wednesday, Thursday, though, you do have the green light for that, looking to be much lower rain chances uh, later into the week. And then you can see later into the week, Saturday and Sunday, this is going to be our next cold front arriving, and that could bring us another opportunity for storms. So just a heads up for any weekend plans. And if you are heading up to the lake the next couple of days, Tuesday, remember, just keep an eye to the sky. There is going to be the opportunity for those storms, mainly an afternoon risk if you're heading up towards the lake. Here's that seven day. Once again, warm temps this week, highs in the 80s and could get close to the 90 by Thursday. Tonight, our team digs deeper into Augusta's 